New video showing the chaotic moments after gunfire broke out at a Halloween party, sending people running for cover. And Airbnb taking action following that deadly shooting. How the company plans to ban party houses. Thank you for joining us. I'm Juliet Goodrich. I'm Brian Hackney. Tonight, we've obtained new surveillance video from the night of the shooting that left five people dead. It happened at an Airbnb rental, a 4,000-square-foot house on Lucille Way in Orinda, just south of Highway 24. KPIX 5's Daw Lynn is live outside that home with the new video. Daw. That's right, and neighbors have been dropping off flowers and cards at that makeshift memorial right there. They want to show their support to the victims. And victims, including the party goers, had no idea how dangerous that party was. We now know there were at least four guns at that Halloween party. The surveillance footage shows what happened shortly after gunfire erupted inside an illegal Halloween party. One man pacing back and forth behind a neighbor's car while holding a gun in his left hand. People in the background were screaming. Another man later joins him. The man in the orange jacket tucks his gun in his pants before tying his shoes. Both men then walk away. We decided to blur their faces for now because we don't know their role in the shooting. The Contra Costa County Sheriff's Department declined to comment on the video. They have not made any arrests and have not released any suspect information. Investigators say they did recover two guns inside the house. We don't know if the recovered guns were used in the shooting. It was devastating. My heart goes out to the victims' families. Many neighbors are fearful to show their faces. They say it was chaotic. The gunfire sent partygoers running all throughout the neighborhood for safety. In this video, you can hear more gunshots and people running away. Police say the shooting killed five people. The youngest victim, 19-year-old Oceana Tompkins. The others are Omar Taylor, Tyon Farley, Javin County, and Ramon Hill Jr., all in their 20s. It's important. It's still our community. Um, everyone's our community. Um, and I think it's important to show that. Neighbors say the victims are now part of their community. They dropped off flowers and large postcards near the crime scene. Investigators have obtained that new surveillance video, and they also have seen it. But so far, they have not commented on it publicly. We don't have a motive on the shooting at this time. Live in Orinda, I'm Da Lin, KPIX 5.